What's up, y'all? It's your girl. It's, it's brand new, and and I'm Miss Melody Cherie. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, my God, Mel. You just love taking over everybody's show. Like, dang, like, brand new. She didn't invite you to be on her show, like, she, she didn't invite you, you know, she invited me, Mel got a black ass soul, you know, she always trying to take over somebody's show, I bet your ass came with me, I, I bet, I bet you came with me, I bet you won't leave your husband, you got all that mouth, Tisha, you got all that mouth, but we all know that you ain't going nowhere, Marceau got you in check, okay? God told me to go, girl. God told me to get up off that burning house, okay? What I will do for you, what I will do is I will call the fire department because that's what you need. Absolutely. And then you can travel and get you a new boyfriend, okay? And get you, get you a babysitter for them cheering. Get you a babysitter, girl. Uh-huh, absolutely. How you doing? Yeah, I learned that from brand new. Brand new is my girl. You better wreck his size. What is up, y'all? <laughs> Ooh, you know your girl is just... Y'all that made me crazy, honey, up on this here uh, YouTube, honey. Okay, got me doing all these voices, honey. Okay, in a minute, y'all gonna make me hit my high note, okay? But what is up, y'all? It's your girl brand new. And honey, I am back in the building. Listen, listen. This time, honey, I am back to talk about Sherelle's world. Now, I'm going to be honest with you all. I love Sherelle's world. But she was dogging Carlos King, honey. Like, ooh, child, she was stomping him out like he was a, he was a roach, honey. Okay, just to stop it. Just put that man in lowest terms, honey. Okay, like, she was really taking Carlos through there. Her and Perry, they got to talk about his shows. Sherelle was like, is the show called uh, Bad and Bougie or is that just a song? I was like, ooh, <laughs> Look, I'ma throw shade if I can't get paid. Ooh, okay, listen. Sherelle, what did Carlos do to you? Why is Sherelle so upset with Carlos and, and Miss Melody Sheree? What did they do to her? Somebody put it in the comments, honey. But I was checking out her and Perry's commentary on Carlos, and they were saying that, you know he's gonna end up being unsuccessful and his shows ain't gonna do good bad and bougie got canceled he need to start you know focusing on love and marriage huntsville dc bell collective he need to focus on all his shows and stop reviewing the bravo shows i feel like um i love carlos reviewing the bravo shows i absolutely absolutely uh, adore his perspective. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I know a lot of y'all rolling your eyes and sucking your teeth. You don't like Carlos. I get it. I do understand why some of y'all don't like him because he can be a sneaky link. Okay, I told y'all I seen you know what I seen with the mellow meters and that um podcast he did and how he used Melody and her fan base, honey, to kick off that first show. I told y'all I was not in support of that, but I seen that, right? I seen it. But nevertheless, um, I still like Carlos, and I like him reviewing Married to Medicine. He's a producer. He he is giving you insight that a lot of YouTubers cannot give you. He knows the people. He has the relationships. When these people have relationships with people that do these shows, like look at Funky Doniva. Okay, he has a relationship with Quad. Look at Michelle Brown. She knows Nene and has hung out with her. You know, like it's a you get a different level of commentary from these people because they are in the mix. They shop with these people. They eat with these people. They vacation with them. They party with them. So I don't know. I, I like some of that. In my commentary, like I like that, you know, 
I like people that, you know, know the behind the scenes. And with Carlos, he's a producer, a damn good one, because we, we can never forget. Okay. We will, we can never forget Carlos really kicked off Atlanta. Nene did what she had to do, but Carlos kicked off Real Housewives of Atlanta. Season um, six was epic. It was their best season. It was, that's the one I think that I own. Yeah, I own uh, season six. That's the first season I ever bought. But yeah, it was produced so well. The Candy and Todd storyline with Mama Joyce. Mama Joyce don't feel like he's good enough for Candy. Um... You had a lot of people will say Nene and Kenya fighting for the Queen Bee spot. Um, yeah, the Kenya, Phaedra, and Apollo love triangle mixed with a little single black crazy female. Okay, Kenya. <laughs> All right, Team Tour. I see you, baby. I love you. I love you. Um, but we have Portia who had just got dumped by Cordell on the Twitter. See, that's what I keep telling y'all with these niggas. Stop doing the most, okay? The bitches that do the least is winning, okay? They is winning. They, they not letting their husband stress them out. Y'all be just giving and giving and giving. No, no, no. You got to pull that back, okay? Catching a man is like trying to catch a fish, then once you catch the fence and you get him and you bait him and then, you know, you give him a little bit and then you always pull back. Okay, just think about uh, a man and his pain. Okay, he, he put it in you and then he, he, he pull it right back. Okay, he take it out. <laughs> I know y'all like, bitch, what type of analogy is this? But y'all know what I'm saying. Like, just don't, don't give them all your energy. I'm just thinking about what Portia went through with Cordell, Dennis, Simon. Like, the list goes on and on, honey. The niggas be playing with Portia. Okay, Portia is a trampoline, honey. Everybody done had a jump. Okay, but yeah, Portia, uh, she need to smarten up. She need to get on her city girls times 10, honey. Okay, do, do, do better. Okay, and sit your ass on the bench. Go on over there with Ariane Curry. Tell her to move over and sit on that bench for about five years and get your life. And stop being defined by these niggas. Okay, child. But anyways, honey, back to this, you know, I don't like how they're trying to play Carlos like he's unaccomplished, like Carlos, he that dude, he is that, he's that dude, you gotta give it to him, Love and Marriage Huntsville is so good, Melody, Martell, you know, their drama, very interesting, this show is good, when it's off air, you know, we still as content creators have things to talk about and the show ain't even on. OK, it is the show that doesn't end. OK, and it goes on and on, my friends. OK, literally. So I'm like, why is Sherelle and Perry hating on Carlos and then what they got against Melody, especially Sherelle? It's like, what had happened? I think she, I think she's upset. I guess the mellow meters have dragged her in the past for talking bad about Melody. I'm about to get in these comments, honey, and see what the people think about this. So one person says, Sherelle, thank you so much for speaking the truth on Love and Marriage Huntsville regarding Melody Holt and the mellow meters. In their eyes, well, it's not Melody Holt no more, child. She got out of the burning house. They don't feel as if they're doing anything wrong, but I peep what Melody Holt is doing. She's still making moves to continue to try to hurt and destroy Martell. What? She doesn't like the fact that he's still on the show making money and using it to support himself and his other family slash child. Ooh, look, only on the first floor. She doesn't like the fact that Ariane is still prospering off of her hard work. So now Melody is building her own so that she can maintain away from the show. She slick wants the show to fall, but she still need them checks for right now. Well, honey, uh, 
I heard they don't get paid that much. What y'all think? Did y'all hear what Winter came out and said, honey, down to the Queen Sheba? Winter, formerly a love and marriage DC, she said that, honey, uh, Carlos was only paying uh, their cast $2,500 an episode, honey, if that. Okay, but when you first start out on a reality TV, you don't get much. You have to work your way up. Even Nene said they didn't start to really see any money until like season four and there on and so forth. Love and Marriage DC, y'all are only on season two. So... Yeah, what did y'all think of the winter in Queen Sheba um, interview? What did y'all think about that? I think I'll talk about that in another video. But yeah, you could still comment and let me know how did you feel about that. There's something I don't like about winter. I can't. I I I, I don't completely trust. I like her, but it's something about her that reads. Like, to me, when she was doing the interview with Queen Sheba, she was saying, well, this wasn't right, and this wasn't right. And I felt um, bad for her when she talked about how she was treated at the reunion by Quick and Jamie, and they came at her, and Carlos let them do that. I'm completely against all of that, if that took place, right? We'll say allegedly. But... I don't know. I feel like there's something about Winter that says victim. Because you got to look at that guy that she uh, married, that Kevin guy. He wasn't right. This situation with the Yusuf guy, Yusuf, whatever his name is, I think that that's over. It's like, girl, you are the common denominator in all of these situations. Irena does not like her. I like Irena. Irena is my favorite person on Love and Marriage DC. I like uh, Joy and Clifton, too. I cannot stand Ashley and her husband. Did y'all see how Ashley was, like, yelling all at Irena at that reunion? Like, screaming and just acting a plum fool. And, um... Ashley had mentioned that she had talked to little Jamie and she was trying to, you know, be there for him with his mental health issues because he reminds her a lot of herself growing up and, you know, but yeah, like if I was Irena, I would never forgive Ashley. I feel like she's mean. She's miserable. Her husband doesn't hold her accountable uh, for her actions. He does not check her or redirect her, you know, like. When you really love your spouse, you're not going to allow them to continue to hustle back, hustle backwards when they are dealing with people. You're not going to allow them to be a bully and um, not be accountable for their actions. And that's what I have seen all throughout. That's why I stopped watching this, uh, Love and Marriage DC because Ashley takes no accountability. It's always, I said what I said or did what I did because you did this and that's not accountability. Accountability looks like looking at yourself and saying, hey, I was wrong. I just shouldn't have did that. Her and Winter, they're cool all of a sudden. That's weird to me because Ashley couldn't stand her at first, I guess. Life happens. People change. You know, you fall out with certain people. You fall in with people you never thought you would be cool with. How do y'all feel about Ashley and Winter's friendship? But yeah, I was just appalled at all that yelling and screaming Ashley was doing um, with Irena. But yeah, it... They said that Sherelle and Black ain't coming back. I still have to look at some more of the reunion. So I will talk about some more, you guys, of the reunion in another video. That way I can kind of, you know, get fully caught up. But Irena and Jamie, honey, clean. Cleaner than a brother Tucker. Irena's hair and dress. Just, whoo. And Jamie, you know damn well you dress way better than Martell, Hook, and Holt. Okay? But yeah, clean, looking fancy, looking good. Winter also tried to say, like, the Tylers, they don't have that much money. They are making a lot of money on TikTok. They were famous, you know, or known for being on TikTok. And, you know, they are socialize you know a lot of people know them and I believe that a lot of people know them but I like love and marriage DC I do I want them to add some more couples 
Um, but yeah, I, I'm sick of Quick and Ashley. I think both of them are immature. And honey, Miss Robinson ain't got time for that foolishness. Okay, I'm starting to like Big Jamie more. Because at first, uh, Jamie was getting on my nerves. They was trying to make it look like he had some type of alcohol problem or something. He turns up when he drinks. Yeah, a lot of people do, though. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't really like all of that. But we'll talk about it, you guys, in another video. Another person says, we are sick of the toxicity. We know it's not real. And that was the selling point of reality TV in the beginning. Folks are now craving more shows with substance. They had a good run. It's time to pack it up, move along, and make way for new content. Another person says, Perry is right. Carlos wants all the fame for himself. Um, a lot of people I notice they keep saying Carlos is trying to be the next Andy Cohen. So the hell what? At least we would have our black version. And Carlos, he hosts the hell out of his reunions. Andy don't give a damn about them people on them shows like that. To me, he's, I don't know. He just seemed more invested in the people that look like him. But child, when he be down to the married to medicine, he look like he asking just enough questions to do his job. That way he could go have him a drink, honey. Okay, that way he could uh hurry up and... Have him a drink. Go get him a snack. I don't I don't feel like he's invested in the black shows. I will say that. I just don't see the energy, the enthusiasm. To me, um, Carlos, like, excels with that. He has exceeded um, my expectations of what a host, you know, would be or do on a reunion show like he just y'all comparing him to Andy it, it does not land it's not giving it does not fit okay and if it does not fit you need to quit okay what did OJ Simpson say rest in peace to OJ child did y'all see uh who was it um I was gonna say Bruce Jenner Caitlyn Jenner I I used to like Bruce shit. I don't like him as Caitlyn. Caitlyn kind of, ugh. Bruce seemed to be so logical, had all the common sense in the world, and then he was around damn Kardashian so much, child. He said, honey, <laughs> I'm trying to be one of the girls, honey. But yeah, he said good riddance. <laughs> and y'all know what else he wanted to say. Well, he, she, shit, I'm trying to get her pronouns together. Y'all excuse me. But yeah, that's what uh, Caitlyn said, honey. I said, ooh, child, just a mess. Just a fool. People still think that Chloe is OJ's daughter. That ain't his damn daughter. Okay, so another person says, not everyone who supports male are men bashers and are miserable. Many of the mellow meters on YouTube are actually happily married women. We were watching a woman get bullied and ganged up on and emotionally and verbally abused by her ex-husband, Martel, on national TV. And people with emotional intelligence and decorum felt that was not okay and decided to support her. Now she's hated because she has the most of the support and fans from the show. Now the person says, fun fact, Carlos King actually has a college degree in journalism. He's good at his job. You know, you got to give it to him. I think a lot of people, they, because they have such disdain for a person, it's like they can't give them their props. They can't give them credit. The same thing with Real Housewives of Potomac. Um, you had Giselle. She just couldn't see it Candace's way. She just couldn't, you know, accept Candace's tears. She wanted to weaponize them and gaslight her and make fun of her. Meanwhile, Bravo then told Candace to hold back. I just still can't get over that. And I'm like, child, and y'all wonder why these women are calling colorism. You wonder why, like... It's so obvious now. Y'all protect Giselle. It's crazy. Now the person says, nice, Carlos on the road with the fired housewives. What is they talking about his podcast? 
Another person says, Sherelle is honestly envious of Dr. Rogers. Perry is absolutely right. Carlos King is jealous of Mel. Mel will be fine if that show goes away. Anthony Lofties is the content creator that is crazy, obsessed, and jealous. Dr. Rogers is protected and highly favored. Now run tell that. Another person says you are absolutely right about what you're saying about those melon heads. The sad part about it is Melon Head didn't try to stop these people. They're talking about Melody. She actually promoted that mess. She was working with most of the bloggers trying to tear Martell down as low as possible. Child, that's not her fault that his ass is in lowest terms. Absolutely. His ass is in lowest terms already. Okay, y'all know Miss Marlene had him on the first floor. Okay, now the person says, I do love how Mel made her life work. I enjoy um, women in power like her that make boss moves. She did not give herself a pity party. And that's what a lot of people wanted to see. There is a lot to be learned from her. There is no room for jealousy. That's our problem. Instead of being happy where happiness is due, we want to down that person. Hopefully, she will continue to educate those needing a growth moment in their life. Absolutely. You know, a lot of women end up with cheaters and liars and narcissists. And Melody stepped out of that burning house and, you know, really revved up her businesses and grew her fan base. And, you know, you got to give it to her, you know, whether you like her or not, you got to, you got to respect it. And then I told y'all, I found out she giving y'all money. I said, shit, I would love Melody too. She ain't giving away cash. Shit, let me hold something. Dr. Rogers. Okay. <laughs> Melody giving the people money, honey. Um, and Stormy still, not S-T-E-A-L, honey, she out here giving away money too. That's why the people were saying that they felt like, you know, Stormy was trying to brand herself like Mel, like trying to do some of the stuff that she see Mel doing, you know. Another person says... You both are smart to see the writings on the wall. YouTube is more popular for the news because it's more up to date by the minute. As for the sinking reality TV, I know this because I am losing interest in it. Another person says Carlos wants to be in front of the camera. He wants to be the star. He wants to give his opinions. I don't see the problem. Oh, did y'all see him and Heavenly uh, review uh, Real Housewives of Potomac and Heavenly got to talking to him about um, the $2,500 he paid to people. When I tell you that nigga shut that shiggity down so quick, did a about face. He was like, oh uh, yeah, we won't be talking about that. We're not going to be talking. I can't do Carlos. I was trying to work on his voice. I can't do it. But he was like, honey, not today and tomorrow don't look good. Even Miss Happily Girl, not on my watch. Okay. And he went right back to talking about Real Housewives of Potomac. Another person says, Sherelle, your insight on the love and marriage Huntsville situation is spot on. It's disturbing how one woman dragged another woman's child in such a messy situation. That poor child had nothing to do with any of it. My hope is that as the child grows older, they can move past all the chaos. Personally, I've taken steps to block anything related to love and marriage Huntsville from my timeline. It's upsetting to see the child's picture being used in this way. I've heard that from the blogger who is facing both civil and potentially criminal repercussions due to the state she's in and her commentary. It's a serious situation. And regarding Melody, it's this person got Melanie child. And regarding Melody, it's unfortunate because I've heard positive things about her from producers and brands. However, dealing with her fan base seems to come with its own set of challenges and they are not willing to deal with it, which is sad because that sponsorship will be needed for her network or it is going to quickly fail. 
Another person says, Sherelle, I'm so disappointed in you as a black woman. Another person says, it's so funny how you report on Love and Mary Chanceville, but you never watch the show. I can agree on Andy and Carlos and their thing. But as I said before, there are supporters of male and then people that claim they are supporters in her what that are really not damn get the damn sentence together damn these are the people that are doing the doxing love and marriage Huntsville's downfall is carlos's fault he continues with the ratchets on every one of his shows everyone including male supporters said they will not watch i just wish you would do your research on this sherelle Another person says the big blogs have never showed any interest in the show. Melody did not go behind the scene and get bloggers. You're speaking on Kiki. She's still on the show. Marceau is trying to get funky at black. I didn't see Kiki um in the cast picture she i don't think she coming back this season and to be honest to me carlos was kind of hanging her out to dry at that reunion he kept asking was she sober and has she been sober the whole season and you know so i i knew then he was gonna let her sit this one out maybe we may get an appearance Another person says, Carlos also dropped the ball with Kimmy, Maurice, Tisha, and Marceau, a weak existing storyline. Everyone seems to attack Mel. Another person says, I agree that the mellow meters are cultish. I don't agree with your commentary on Carlos King. He asked the bloggers at the live show in Huntsville not to blog about the storyline before it aired. Now, Sherelle, I think if you were there, you would have honored his request because you are a respectful lady. Don't take it personally because he wasn't talking about quality bloggers like yourself. All right, you guys, that's all I have to say about all of this, honey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am your girl, brand new, and I will check you guys out in the next video.